Hello, my name is Nana, and I'm recording this video uh, according to the speech of the week, which is um, about life experience. However, my life experience that I'm gonna be telling you, it's kind of sad to me, but um, I mean, it's very long, but I'll try to make it short enough so um, don't pass the five minutes. Um, my name is Nada, first of all, and um, I was in love with someone, and I was supposed to get engaged, and um, I believed everything he said to me. He he was supposed to be like an engineer, and he was supposed to be graduated college and everything. And um, he has his own barber shop, his own business. And um, when I first met him, I met him through a friend, a friend of mine. And um, actually, he was actually like lying and everything, even through his friends, like even on his on his friends, he was lying. So um, I first met him. I liked him, he liked me, and we were just talking, start talking, and um, after that, he he tried to tell me that he wanted to propose, and he want to have like um, an engagement party or something, um, and uh, I was, I said okay, because I liked him, and um, like while we were preparing for our engagement party, or for like, um, like the the or for actually the wedding because he didn't want to have like a engagement party and then have the wedding, so we were actually making like a little big like a big party for actually like um the wedding ceremony and to to be for the engagement. Um, I was very like um like I believed him. I believed every single word he said to me. I never. I never thought he would be lying. I actually had to like stop knowing people because of him. Because people start telling me that he's a liar. He don't sound true. He doesn't sound right. Like there is something wrong with him, and um, and like he he lies. Like there's something not real in whatever he says, anything he says. And I used to be like, no, like he's perfect. Stop say like bad things about him. And I used to believe him, I used to play, like fight with even my mom and my family. So I was like blind. I used to see him like the best, the perfect man. He doesn't lie, he does all the good things. Especially he was hiding all that in like a religious way. He was acting like he's like a very religious person. And uh, he prays, he does the right things, which is like you don't lie, you don't steal. Because this is like the basics in the religions, in any religion. So he was actually hiding all this behind this religious character. He was trying to tell me like he's a very religious person and a very religious person won't even lie, won't do anything bad, won't lie, won't steal, won't like play around and then like like anything like I, I don't know but it's just like a person that's religious don't do like bad things and first and the basic like I said the basic things is like stealing um, being a liar and stuff like that fooling people actually um, anyway so that's why I was like no stop like he's he's a very religious person he won't be a liar because you can't be a liar if you're religious and you pray too much and all that and um, they were like okay you'll see and I never thought, like, I never thought they would be true one day. Like, whatever they said, it's going to come true and it's going to be actually, like, like, that's exactly what you said to me. And, like, I, I never thought they were going to be, like, being real like that. Anyway, um, we were preparing everything. So, like I said, we didn't want to have, like, a whole engagement party. And like spent because he didn't want to spend money and then do another wedding, so he decided to have like a big wedding, like, um, and not like spending a lot of money on like two parties. Um, the bad thing I was doing is like I was saying okay and everything, like I didn't really care because like before I know him, I was like no, I want to have a big wedding, I want to have a big engagement party, I want to have this, I want to have that. 
and like I was dreaming, I was dreaming of like all the fancy things. And once once he came in my life and started saying, no, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do this. I'm like, okay, 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 I don't care, like I don't really care. And before that, I was like, no, I wanna have a fancy wedding, I wanna have a fancy ring, whatever. And all that because I liked him. Anyway, um, after all that, um, my mom starts saying like, he he, there's something wrong with him, and he's not in engineering because he was trying to tell me that he graduated from like a, a college and he's an engineer, but he just like took over that business from his dad. Work. So my mom starts saying, "Is he really an engineer? Like, if he's an engineer, why would he be like in a barber shop? Like, if he's an, if he's an engineer and he he graduated from college and he works as an engineer, he would be making a lot of money, or he could be working as an engineer and then." have the barber shop like have your own business and still work as an engineer like you don't waste your time studying to be an engineer and then you stand in a barber shop so my mom start like making me look at this point and I'm like stop he's he's just an engineer like stop saying he's not and I really didn't didn't have a problem if he's an engineer or not like I didn't really care I, as long as he graduated college and as long as like he's a good person so I start telling him that when did you graduate? Uh, what college you graduated from? Uh, what year? Who's your friends? Uh, like I start asking him like random questions every time I talk to him, and he actually were like was like, why do you ask me these questions every time? So I start saying like, if you're lying, just tell me because I don't want to know it from anybody else. Like if you're just lying in anything, just let me know right now. I want to know from you. I don't want to hear it from somebody else like I want to be sure that you're lying so he starts swearing that he never lied and he will never lie in anything he tells me or he will tell me in the future so I'm like great he swore and like he's he's a good man like he can't lie and swear and start going to everybody else and be like stop he's he's he like I believe him whatever and all of a sudden, I realized he is not. To make the story short, he I realized he's like the perfect liar, and the best and the greatest liar in the world. He can make stories up. He can make you feel like everybody else lies, and he's the only one who's being real, not lying. He he had the power, or not the power. He was like perfect. Doing, um, he was like perfect, acting like he's a religious person, and behind that character, he would be the worst person ever. So the experience that I learned from all this, not to believe anybody. No, I'm I'm not saying not to believe anybody, like, like make everybody seem to be a liar, but just like be sure of what you're, of what you believe. Like, don't just go and believe anything everybody says to you. Don't believe, because he, he, he was going to be my husband. Like, in three months, he was going to be my husband. So imagine if I got married and I realized that he was a liar, what would I do? So I, I, I'm, th I'm very thankful and keep saying, like, thank God that I realized everything before, before I got married. But I, I know it's it's painful and it hurts and I was like in so much pain. But after I I start thinking about it and after I start like waking up from that weird nightmare, I start saying like thank God like I'm very I'm very lucky that I found out all of this drama and all of this like I don't know what you call it, but all of this drama and all of this lyingness and all of this stories that he used to make I'm very like grateful that I like I knew everything before I got into the real life and the real marriage so um I think it's 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 not an easy thing to not believe anybody but try as like I learned not to not to believe everybody like not to go ahead and be like oh okay he's not lying and I believe everything he says you never know
that's that's my my message like you never know if this person is lying or not unless if you know him for like ever and like he never lied to you if it's like your mom you can't like you can't think she's lying if it's your dad if it's your parents if it's your s close sisters so i'm not saying everybody in your life but there are certain people who could be a liar so um that's that's my experience and um it's kind of sad I don't have anything funny to um to prepare but I I found this this um experience would even like help people who listen to it like I I'm sure it's going to help a lot of people to like not to believe everybody so um that's it thank you